Napocom has a new commissioner after the resignation of Edelberto Leonardo. And we have with him with us tonight. Welcome to the big story, Attorney Rafael Calinisan. Congratulations on the new appointment. Salamat po, salamat po. Uh, well, thank you for coming yeah. over. Uh, we understand. Day Big one. day. Day it one is pa lang. Day one today. Uh, I started my 7.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. in the office already. And it's, uh, ano, naantok na nga ako. Eh. This is my second cup in the past 30 minutes. Well, you're not new yeah. to this kind of job. You were chairman of the QC uh, People's um, Law Enforcement Law Board. Enforcement Board Pleb. The PLEB. Yes. You've been trying policemen. Um, what is your mandate here and how did this appointment fall on your lap? So I got wind of this appointment uh, Tuesday. Um, pero long playing ito eh. I actually met with the president uh, last year already. Last year pa. Mm -hmm. And uh, very clear instructions sa ni President Marcos was to clean the police force. Pero as we all know, the, uh, there are fixed terms in Napolcom. Mm -hmm. So six year term yun eh. So there was really nothing much to discuss. Actually, si Presidente, very hands-on. Um, if you would remember, ko na nagsabi, ako ang chairman ng PLEB, mm. um, Quezon City. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was interested to know all of the cases uh, in Quezon City. So I, I salute the President. So from there, ang, ang direct, directive niya, ang mandate niya is to actually clean the police force. And more or less, natatansya ko na, na where this is heading. Mm. So, but mm. since wala namang directly sinabi sa akin, but I, I met the president actually four more times after that mm -hmm. uh, in the presidential trips abroad in U.S. and Vietnam and in our uh, reunion in La Salle Green Hills. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the same direction. It's the very clear, clean the police force. And uh, nangyari mga nangyari, uh, Quadcom happened, uh, revelations happened, uh, Sadly, some mismanagement happened in the, Nas in the National Police Commission. Uh, there were vacancies. And uh, I got wind of uh, my appointment last Tuesday. Di ko naman na expect um, So it was more, more or less, more than a year in the making. And uh, ready naman tayo eh. Um, doon pa natin ginagawa. Uh, kumaga, hindi alam ng tao, hindi ganun ka-publicized yung trabaho natin. Um, and uh, we're ready. Yan nga, eh. I was just gonna say, attorney, no, na yung Napolcom, kasi hindi siya masyadong uh, people-facing. Kasi police talaga yung, mm -hmm. yung minamanage ninyo, eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kumaga, paparusahan, like this, try to find a way to make it better. Now, um, for those who don't understand what the function of the Napolcom is, no, um, what do you think, being uh, an outsider, but I understand, I already Googled you, and I understand your dad. Bagay nga sa last so, name niya, Kalinisa. Oo nga, yun yung sinabi ko. Sabi ko na baka bagay naman. Ang ganda naman nung last name nung bagong commissioner, Kalinisa. Pero your, your parents were both in the service. Yes, correct. Right? So how do you, uh, what do you see, No, and I'm sure you've talked, you've heard about the stories from your dad. Um, going into this new job, since day one pala, may mga broad plans ka ba? Or is it more like figuring out what they're doing and trying to just No, adjust? I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm ready and I'm uh, hitting the ground running. So since 7:30 na umaga until before I came here, no, I, I had a series of uh, meetings. Di ko sinabi sa kanila I'm arriving 7:30 earlier than mm -hmm. all of them. Mm -hmm. So mula sa, sa taong kasabay ko sa elevator, sundan ko, led to another meeting, to another meeting. So I met with the Association of Employees. I met with the Integrity Management Office there, uh, Investigation Service. Mm -hmm. I met with the Legal Service. Mm -hmm. I met with the Regional Directors already. Mm -hmm. um, Kung baka nakausap ko na ang lahat ng stakeholders uh, in day one. Mm -hmm. uh, alam ko na rin ang gagawin. Kasi uh, handa na ako eh. Kung baka... Pero attorney, anong yeah. difference ng um, Napolcom sa mm -hmm. Internal Affairs Service so, within the PNP? Sobrang laki. Actually, let me difference it. Dagdag ko na yung pleb kasi advocacy ko yan eh. So, yung Napolcom, uh, constitutional body yan. So, under Article 16 of the Constitution, yun yung... Uh, administers and controls the national police. So, kumbaga, meron talagang uh, dinikta yung framers of the Constitution na isang check and balance mechanism, which is the National Police Commission. There shall be one police force, national in scope and character, uh, to be administered, administered and controlled by the, so the National So, you have police authority Commission. over the PNP? Yes, the, okay. national police, uh, the PNP reports to the uh, na National Police Commission. EAS, yung EAS on the other hand, uh, Gretch. Ito yung internal lang uh, sa PNP. In fact, they're only recommendatory. Ah. Wala silang ngipin eh. So they can just investigate and recommend to the chief PNP. So si chief PNP yung bahala kung he will accept or not mm -mm. yung recommendation ng IAS. Mm -mm. Whereas yung pleb, yung pinanggalingan natin, ito yung 
uh, least known of all of these three, uh, ito yung People's Court, People's Investigator. So, yun naman eh, ordinary person ang naka, naka, nakasampa doon, a uh, uh, complaint comes in, then uh, uh, the pleb investigates and hears the case. Yun ang difference. But yung pleb malakas Para yun yun. Pao. Public. Hindi, iba rin yung PAO. Iba rin, iba rin. Malayo-malayo yung PAO. So, totally so, so the PLEB yun. is composed of uh, ordinary citizens? Ordinary citizens. Parang citizen's court. Uh, citizen's court. Uh, it's a citizen's so court. So, where is it tried? You, kayo mag, mag-file ng case sa korte? No, they try it with us. Ah, with so, the we PLEB. are the judges. Uh, okay. We're the investigator judges. So, kami nagde-desisyon kung are you gonna be suspended, dismissed, reprimanded, or uh, So, absolved. the local police is subject to the PLEB? Yes, correct. Per city. Since 1991 pa yan, and in fact, very, very little is known about the PLEB. So, nung nandun ako, talagang sinubukan natin buhayin for the past four years. And medyo naging successful tayo, pero syempre kulang pa rin. Isa lang yung Quezon City. Happy nga ako kay Mayor Joy, shout out to Mayor Joy na uh, reorganize niya yung PLEB ng Quezon City. At medyo yun na pinaka-active na PLEB. Attorney, I'm guessing your experience with PLEB is what got you this appointment. Yes. Hoping maybe that uh, you can apply certain things mm -hmm. from one to the Napolcom. If, if I may, no? If I may. Yeah. So, yung sa PLEB, sa namakmak yung case backlog dyan. In fact, ang lupit na minana natin na uh, may 10-year cases, 12-year cases, sobrang dami. So, in my first six months, uh, from those uh, in, immense backlog, zero backlog na tayo ngayon. And the cases, from filing of the complaint until mm -hmm. the decision, mm -hmm. 60 days. Mm -hmm. I think that's the fastest in the country. Mm -hmm. So, nakapag-file ng complaint, nasampa for probable cause, hanggang naglabas ng decision, May hearing na yun, ha? Hearing. Mm -hmm. 60 days. Mas madali bang ano, investigahan kapag uh, involved yung mga PNP? Napakahirap. Example, napakahirap. Or is it harder? Kung baga compared difficult. to a civilian? It's more difficult. Siyempre, may tsapa at uniforme at baril yan. Um, totoo lang, nakatakot yan eh. Hindi ko alam, ba't ako napadpad yun eh? Uh, so, so wait lang. So when you try the, the policemen sa PLEB, yeah. you make a recommendation to the LGU? No, it is our decision. It is enforced are, right away? No, no, By no. the PNP? Yeah, it, it is, how should I put it? Theoretically, syempre ito lang enforce ng PNP yun. But it is the decision of the PLEB. So the PLEB's decision is immediately executory. So, bagsin nagsabi yung pleb o oh, dismiss, dismiss. Okay, what, wh why we invited you here yeah. is because we know that Quezon City yeah. is um, described by some as the ground zero yes. of Duterte's drug war yes. here in Manila. Mm. Um, referring to the Batasan Police Station, which was where sinabi na in Dundao yung Davao Boys. Mm. Oh, mm. sinulat yeah. ni, I think, mm. Manny Manny mo gato sa kanyang mm. Pulitzer mm. Prize winning article. Uh, meron bang nakarating sa'yo ng mga ganong kaso na extrajudicial killing? We're able to solve it in, in 60 days. I mean, how, how do uh, you... Ito. Nalulungkot nga ako. Hindi sila nag-file ng kaso sa akin eh. I was appointed 2020, the tail end of the Duterte administration. Mm -hmm. uh, July 2020 on appointed. So there were no cases filed. In fact, because walang may alam ng pleb, sadly, during that time, konting-konti um, yung papasok na mga EJ case dyan. Uh, in fact, takot yung tao mag-file ng, ng kahit anong kaso dyan. But hindi kami natakot noon sa pleb, ang hindi man kami nakapag hear ng kaso about EJ case because nasudulo na kami. Ang ginawa namin during that time, inubutan namin yung mga red tagging. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung mga pag-upo ko, yun na dinatan ko. Yun ang uso nun. Mm -hmm. Yung uh, nagbebenta na lang ng gulay, tapos eh, kuminista ka na. Mm -hmm. So, yun ang uh, we put a stop to it. We issued show cause orders. So, no, sa, no, th there was no case filed on none, EJ case? None. Nagaantay ako. Nagaantay ako. Actually, I was hoping for that case. Meron bang expiry date itong mga kaso? Meaning, can I file a case um, now? Now na, kunyari, ngayon lang ako nakahanap ng lakas loob. Pero yung issue, ang nagyari pa 2016. Part pa tayo ng Rome Statute nun. Mm. Walang kinalaman ng Rome Statute Wala. sa PLEB. Ha? So, you can actually file a case with uh, the PLEB. You can actually file a case with IAS. You can file, you can file a case with the NAPOLCOM. Since we're now talking about NAPOLCOM, file it with NAPOLCOM. Hindi pa nag-overlap yung mga... Overlap. Overlap yeah, siya. Eh. So Pero, parang, kasi di ba lagi natin pinag-uusapan, even uh, President Marcos says, right size the bureaucracy. Uh, so kung may pleb tayo, may, of course, kailangan talaga ng IAS. I think lahat naman ng police forces may ganun. Pero may pleb tayo, meron tayong Napolcom, di ba nag, oo, oh, oh, yun yan. Hindi, kasi baliktad eh, ang power malupit sa state eh. So sobrang the state wields uh, so much power, especially the policeman. So under the law, uh, given the guidance of the legislature, yung mga Congress uh, and the Senate, they deemed it wise 
to put up check and balance mechanisms in government. Mm -hmm. So, yun ang wisdom nila, and we have to uh, agree to but, that. But could you help us understand um, why the former president keeps on saying in the hearings that no case has been filed against him and against all else that's being tagged in the drug war? Is it very difficult? Because it's one thing to file a case, and mm. another thing to get evidence mm. and to get witnesses to come forward, mm. Mm. which is in uh, former uh, Justice Secretary Laila de Lima, mm. na takot yung mga witness na magsalita. Mm. Pero tatlong taon na sa Marcos administration at wala pa rin kaso. Um, can you help us understand what's the difficulty um, that we face in investigating our own police force? Yung criminal case, syempre nagaantay pa rin sila ng complainants. Of course, it's the, a case done against the, the state. No? Pero siya, para tumayo yung kaso, kinakilangan ng complainant. Pero if I may say, no, uh, so there are, in this particular case, there may be two relevant cases. Criminal cases, which can be filed with the DOJ. Mm -hmm. And administrative cases, which can be filed with the NAPOLCOM. So yung criminal case, yun yung kulong. Yung administrative case, yun yung fitness to be a policeman. Mm. So, kung yung level ng ebidensya na kailangan for someone to be put to jail, uh, mataas yun eh. Uh, beyond, proof beyond reasonable beyond doubt. Reasonable doubt. Mm. Mas mababa ng dihamak yung ebidensyary requirement kapag administrative case. So, in a way, kung siguro kung may gusto mag-file ng case with NAPOLCOM mm -hmm. doon sa EJK, very much welcome. We can investigate. Okay, attorney, uh, in your work nga, no, with QC mm. Pleb, uh, you take pride in resolving cases as fast as 60 days. Sabi mo, pinakamabilis yes. sa Pilipinas. Mm. You mm. think you can replicate that on a national level? Sana. Is that doable? Kaya, Sana. Kapag-inating the Pleb system. Sana. Oh. Sana. Oh. Sana. May double model. Uh, if, if I may, no, um, and gusto ko maitindihan nyo rin, uh, I am just one vote. I am only one of six, uh, a six-member commission. Correct. Um, I cannot impose my will on the other five. I can only speak for myself. Mm -hmm. Pero majority wins yan, di ba? Yeah. When you vote, it's yes, the pero usual. Yes, pero kunwari, oh, itong gusto ko, 60 days tayo. But I need, I cannot speak for the five. Mm -hmm. I can only speak for myself. There's still one empty spot right now. There's uh, four commissioners, right? Uh, six actually. One is uh, General Mar Marbil, PNP mm -hmm. chief. Mm -hmm. Second is the DILG secretary. Mm -hmm. Then there's four mm -hmm. um, civilian mm -hmm. kind of like uh, commissioners. Mm -hmm. But bakante yung isa pang spot? Yeah, and uh, like, uh, it has just filled up. So, today also? Um, he, yeah, he reported to work mm -hmm. today. So mm -hmm. our, we were supposed to meet the SILG uh, 2 o'clock uh, earlier today, pero nagkaroon ng NDRRMC since me bagyo, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, na-cancel na yun. So, we will are rescheduling Mari, one. Maari ba namin malam ko sino yun? Uh, ano, Tindan lang natin yung announcement. <laughs> okay. Oh. Pero gusto ko yung sinabi mo no, sa iyong Facebook post. Panahon na ng pagbabago, panahon na para magtagumpay ang tama at totoo, tapos na ang patayan sa ating bayan. It ends now. Mm -hmm. Police abuse stops with me and this government, ang bagong police malinis. Mm -hmm. How do you plan to do that? And are you listening to the hearings? Mm. Is there any way that you know um, we their cases will be built against those uh, the, the the revelations in the hearings? Uh, I, I I plan to meet uh, and see clearance with uh, the SILG. Kita naman natin na the DOJ already formed a task force uh, to investigate the EJ case at least for the criminal aspect. Like I mentioned, we need to discuss the administrative aspect of that, and I cannot do it on my own. Mm -hmm. So I'm just one. So I need to bring in the other five mm -hmm. so we can investigate the EJ case as far as administrative liability is concerned. So ang pangako ko sa taong bayan, yung isang boto na yan, gagamitin natin yan, we will uh, make sure na yung one vote na yan, it will count. And uh, I promise, though we are friends with the PNP, ni ating kaawa yan, uh, ang, ang PNP, kaibigan natin, mm -hmm. tatay ko at nanay ko, nakasuot ng uniforme, mm -hmm. hindi natin para sirain Ang yan. reports na nakakarating sa Napolcom, galing kanino? What do you mean? Sino ang nag naghahain ng reports Anyone sa can file a case. Anyone? Iba yung, yeah, Civilians? Anyone. Civilians. Oh, okay. Anyone. Okay. Even you. Even an ordinary guy. Even anyone. So, welcome. Welcome siya. So, ang, ang akin dito, um, if anyone files a case with us, Pangako ko sa inyo, yung boto ko, I can't speak for the other five. Pero yung isa na yun, I will try to make sure, and I, I'm doing my job right now, pati yung legal service, kinausap na natin, we will try to uh, mm -hmm. investigate these cases. Oh, day one. Oh, congratulations <laughs> day one on, on the, the appointment. And we hope no, na uh, ma-whip ninyo yung other commissioners uh, into We do hope to action. see cases come to life because right. we've been talking about that for a long time. Mm -hmm.